Okay, this is the free motion quilting tutorial for trilobite. This filler is really stitched in two sections. First we're going to create the spine uh, and then after we get done with the spine then we'll stitch the legs of the trilobite off of the spine. Um, but this is really kind of um, a chain of beads is the way I like to think of it. The circles really kind of slightly overlap and feed into one another. So you're going to do a little bit of traveling down the edge of the circle in order to pivot off and create the next circle. And you can really change the look and feel of this texture by making the circles gradually get bigger or smaller as you go. Um, a trilobite's body is triangular shaped, so uh, it actually does look really good if you gradually make them get bigger as you go. So here I've stitched the rest of the spine and now I'm going to start stitching the legs and you're just going to be traveling along the edge of the spine and then kind of come up with just a wiggly flame shape for the legs. You really just want to fill up your space with this, with all of the legs. Um, in this situation I'm just simply stitching to the edge of my quilting space to fill it up. But when you interlock these you could leave a little bit of space so that way um, the legs have space to kind of fit in between one another. And trilobites uh, are prehistoric animals. We have lots of fossils left of them. And they're kind of, I guess, the modern day version of a, of a cockroach. They were everywhere and left tons and tons of fossils behind and look really, really neat stitched in a filler stitch. But here is what it looks like when you finish. Here's two trilobites for you. And for more free motion quilting videos, tools, and supplies, check out daystyledesigns.com. Thank mm -hmm. you.